Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nick from Nez Tech, but today I want to take a look at this GPS. This is Nexar, and when I first bought this unit, it wasn't actually this unit. I uh, I just found this at a second-hand store, but when I upgraded, I ended up giving mine to my dad. But this is the first GPS unit that I ever purchased, and man, it blew our minds back in the day. We were like, what? We can actually see exactly what street we're going down? That's got to be about um, 10 years ago now. Oh, man, we've evolved way past that by now, haven't we? I remember when I got this unit, it was in Canadian Tire. And uh, it was for just 100 120 bucks. Ran in, got it, brought it out, tried it out, and man, absolutely blew our minds with how cool it was. The GPS. Unfortunately, we don't have the SD cards. It's usually if you see... Uh, it's usually if you see uh, a GPS, it will not come with an SD card. Or a micro SD when you buy them used, anyways. But I am really curious to see what this thing looks like on the inside. One thing in particular I was always curious about is what's in here? Is this where the GPS unit itself is? And I think that uh, it might be. So here we have a giant battery. It's interesting it hasn't swelled up for how old it is and how long it's been running. What else we got in here? I think I'm going to try to take this board right off. So we got the screws here, Phillips head screws, of course, little itty bitty ones. One, two. So if any of you guys remember what it was like to not have a GPS, you had to know exactly where you were going. And if you didn't, you were done. Or, I remember one time, my neighbor, I went over to visit my dad, and my neighbor comes out of the house, and he's like, Bob, Bob, you know, my kid's name, whatever the kid's name was, she needs your help, she's on the Highway 401, she's near Toronto, she took the wrong off turn, and she had no idea where she was going, so she called home to try to figure out how she could get to where she wanted to get, looks like that shield is soldered right on, these days you can usually clip those things right off, but this one is not clipping off anyways they had to get the map out and figure out where she was i think she was trying to get to yorkdale mall or something like that she definitely was not going the right way though geez that's unfortunate just soldering right on so i can't take a look but yeah that's the main board that'll just be the screen i'm not interested in taking that off oh and you know i love it when they terminate these pieces right here to the speakers that is just the best but yes now i can finally tell was it actually the GPS unit that was in the back? Man, these days you get GPS units. They're not just GPS, but they're GLONASS. They're, um, the, the Chinese have their own thing, too. And then the, the Russians have GLONASS. And the Europeans have something, too. But you can get things that all work together simultaneously. The interesting thing is that GPS was started by the military. And the military... Ooh, that is the GPS unit. That is the actual unit. The military pays... The American military pays a huge price in order to get GPS working and available for everybody. A huge price. And uh, we just kind of jump right on that thing. I don't even think we pay any kind of, of uh, tax or anything like that for it. Maybe it's just to help the market or something. But man, it's interesting. All of these heat shields are soldered on. They haven't figured out the clip. But yeah, that is a GPS unit. That is a GPS system. And let's see if I can get under there at all. I'm working on it. I'm remembering this from previous units, yeah. Same thing. I almost think that's just a magnet. I'm not even sure if there's really much on there or over there. Huh. There we go. So there's not a whole lot going on here. Mostly just processors. I'm not seeing any chips. But I'm kind of curious. This does not strike me as being a chip. Usually with something electric, you get like uh, three pins coming out of it. You get uh, the live, you get uh, the go back, the live, the negative, and then the data. But I'm not seeing anything for data here. Why not? What's under here? Okay, so I finally managed to get in here. It looks like we got some Samsung chips. 
Those will be uh, memory usually. Centrality. And that's what's going on on the inside here. But yeah, I knew it, man. I knew it was a GPS unit at the back. That's so cool. That's so cool. Anyways, I always wanted to tear that apart, but I never got the opportunity because I gave mine to my dad when I updated. And um, he's still using it. He's still using it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Net from Nets. Like, subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other.